Um, I'm a little close because I want you to see what it is we're doing tonight. This is my toned down version of a black and pink gothic eye. You might want to do a little bit more intense, um, but it's totally up to you. Um, I would do this with red. You could also add like a heavy glitter at the lid. Um, anyway, let's get started. I'm not wearing, I'm just wearing foundation, I'm not wearing anything else. Um, you're going to want to prime your lid, of course, because you don't want any of these harsh colors on your directly on your skin. And you want to put as much as you can between your skin and these really rough colors that we're going to be using. And underneath, because we're going to use, obviously we're using something under there too. Now, I admit, goth when I was a young person is probably not exactly the same as what goth is today. Um, my impression of goth is probably not too far off of emo, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot, of, a lot of hassle for that, but don't hate on me because I'm old and I don't know. Just educate me kindly. But anyway, I'm trying to do something like what I would have worn. I was kind of a punker, a punk rocker, and obviously you're going to want to alter it so it fits you. So I'm using just a Gracious Me shade stick. You can use any pinkish base you want on the top lid. This was a request for black and pink gothic look. Now, I don't know if you were serious or if you just wanted to see the old lady come up with something. But either way, I hope it's entertaining. I hope everybody's been well. Things have been nuts here. Thanks everyone for your patience on me getting at your requests. I really appreciate it. You guys rock. You're probably the very best subscribers on YouTube. You guys are awesome. So that was Gracious Me. Um, again, you can use any pink base you want. And I just did just the lid. Now I'm going in with shark skin, and I'm going to go under at the lower lash line here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can be a little messy because obviously we're not doing precise lines here. And I'm trying to do this right in the camera for you. It's sort of a balance between being able to see and you being able to see. We both have to see. Okay, I'm going to first do the under part, and I'm using um, Soot by Fierney. I just got in my shipment of Fierney um, cosmetics, and I just love them. Thank you, Servinia. You're a doll. You turned me on to them. She rocks. If you guys haven't seen her videos, you have to go see her stuff. She's absolutely fantastic, and she's turned me on to so many mineral eyeshadow companies. So this is what Soot looks like. It's sort of a charcoal, not quite black, but a deep, deep gray black. Um, you could also use um, black from um, uh, oh my goodness, Spell Cosmetics. That's a wonderful matte black color. I really like it. So it just gives me just enough. It's just light enough that I don't feel like I'm. It's just not as harsh to me for the heavy look we're doing. So I'm just smudging it right into that shark skin. Don't worry about the fallout. We're going to clean it up. Okay. Now we're going to wet our um, 
other brush that we're going to... I'm also, on the top of the lid, I'm going to be using Max Fuchsia Pigment. Sorry about that. You can use any pink that you like. Use what you have. And my new Low Cornell Maxine's Mop 3 8 inch brush. Love them. I got a great deal on these. When I do my haul video, I'm going to show you guys where I got these brushes from. Cheaper than Michael's. So you're going to love it, including shipping cheaper than Michael's. So um, to make this a little more intense, I'm going to wet this with just some, uh, wet my brush, just dampen it with some Fix Plus. You can use whatever you want, even water. Some people use water. That's fine. We're just trying to make the color just a tad more vibrant. Okay. And press it right into that. Gracious me. Right over to the shark skin. Don't worry about this right here. We're going to blend that together. Now I can start blending a little, just at the top, because I want real good intensity there at the bottom. See how I kind of made all my colors very blurry here? Matter of fact, I'll add a little bit more pink over there. Um, goth to me now sort of seems like a cross between so many things, and I always think sort of like industrial, kind of post-apocalyptic stuff, so eh, that's where I'm going. If I've headed the wrong direction, please let me know. So I've done that, and now I'm going to blend that pink out with my, I've got two different blending brushes here. I'm going to blend with my MAC blending brush, and I know you guys keep telling me what the number is, but I don't write it down, and I don't keep it here with me, so it's just not going to stay in my head. Thank <laughs> you.